This is Twit. The event today, we heard a lot about how Windows 10 will work across desktop and mobile platforms. We got lots of information about Cortana on the desktop, Microsoft's new browser, codenamed Spartan, and more. But let's start with the truly important announcement. Holograms. Now, you just tried Microsoft's HoloLens. We're dying to know. What was I it like? I just run up from the lab, and I have to say, it's bloody marvelous. <laughs> Um, I was just blown away by it. They had four demos, one where you're using the design studio, one where you're making a Skype call, one where you're using a version of Minecraft. But the killer one for me was uh, the, the thing they've done with NASA, whereby they take photographs of the Martian surface, you put on a headset, and you're literally there. I mean, all these photographs are done into, are built into a landscape so you can peer and look underneath rocks. You can just get a, you can walk across the whole thing. You can check out various other areas for, for, for investigation. It was just, it blew me away, to be quite frank. And I know it's very much a developmental product at the moment. We didn't get to try the, the black flashy headsets that they had on uh, for the demonstration, which I suspect have a battery life measured in minutes and said we were carrying around a battery pack and a processor pack and using very sort of jury rigged headsets but the results were absolutely stunning well i would ask you to show us a picture of the device but i've heard that they confiscated your phones before you went in oh no phones no bags no recording devices of any kind it's very very tight security there which is odd because they've actually put the research lab underneath the visitor center i think they're hiding in plain view on this one huh so, so the device that you tried on doesn't look like what they're going to look like. No, no. What I had was basically um, a, a headset, a sort of a, a jury rigged headset with Velcro straps, uh, lenses across the eyes, and then a shoulder pack containing batteries and what looked like three processors, judging from the number of fans on the back, um, all linked in to, to the central headset. They did have display versions of the flashy black headset that you saw there, but we weren't allowed to try them on. Um, they apparently, I mean, based on the demos, they do work, but um, basically, given the fact that you've got three processors in there and an awful lot of compute power, I do wonder quite how much battery you could fit into that, considering, you know, I mean, maybe with some lithium polymer stuff, you could get some inventive battery storage. But whenever we asked about that, the standard response was, we're actually just the designer, stroke publicist, <laughs> stroke person showing you around. You need to speak to an engineer for that, which is my next job. Yeah, so they had their talking points ready. So how are the HoloLens glasses different from, say, Oculus Rift? Well, predominantly, you can actually see through them. They're clear lenses. Uh, so in the case of the Curiosity uh, thing, for example, all around me was the Martian landscape, including the, including the Curiosity rover. But they pre, they'd gone through and actually mapped out the computer screen that you could that you could use to navigate as well, and cleared that so that the hologram wouldn't cover that. But you could walk around the room, and it was the same with the Minecraft demo. You could walk around the room and feel safe, whereas with Oculus, you've really got to pull the peepers up to see where you're going, otherwise you're going to trip over something. Right. Did you get dizzy or anything while you were in there? No, no motion sickness at all. I mean, Oculus, I've, I haven't really felt motion sickness either. Mm -hmm. Slightly unsettling when I went over a rough part of the floor. But with this, you can see exactly where you're going. No motion sickness. And when it displays it, it displays it in a very realistic format. With the Minecraft demo, for example, we were digging holes in a wooden, you know, there was a wooden table there. You put the holographic specs on and you can dig holes in it as though it were Minecraft. It's um, really quite stunning. That is. I mean, and that's probably how they're going to get a lot of people, I think, don't you, to, to join oh, into this. Yeah, I mean, gaming-wise, gaming, uh, gaming -wise, I think this is going to be huge. Um, in terms of collaborative working with the guys at NASA, that's going to be huge as well. Mm -hmm. Not so sold on Skype holograms. I mean, I... <sighs> One of the things I quite like about the telephone is you don't have to look at another person. So looking <laughs> right. at them in 3D is really, you know, not a great use case for me personally, but I can see some people really liking it. And for group meetings around the world, that would be really quite handy as well. And from the design studio thing, you can design, it's almost like an, an Adobe Photoshop, uh, Photoshop toolkit. You can use that to design 3D objects, color them in, increase or decrease the size, and then either print them yourself or send them off to a 3D printer for later creation. So, so we heard today that this is going to be built right into the operating system, right into Windows 10. How, how will that work? 
Um, well, they put the API, or they, they're going to put the APIs directly into the operating system, so anybody can use them. Uh, obviously, you'll need the hardware itself, which is going to make, uh, I, I suspect, is going to be hideously expensive. Um, but the, they say, uh, from what we've been told today, the operating system is ready to go for holograms. They've got all the APIs in there. The software is 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 ready to go. I'm pres pardon me. I'm presuming they're not actually going to preload the hologram hologram software you're going to have to buy that separately mm -hmm. um but the apis to develop around it are apparently already in there so the developers can get working 